time now is uh, for another check of your forecast with Brittany Rainey. Brittany, it's it's never a good thing to see trees and and, and forest, natural land demolished, uh, but it's good to see the city of McKinney stepping up. Meantime, today actually might be a good day for a hike. It is kind of cool outside, and it's supposed to warm up relatively well to where yes. it'd probably be pretty comfortable. Yeah, you know the 50s. It's not so bad outside, especially when you don't have those strong northerly winds. And today they're just going to be about five to ten miles an hour. So a couple of extra layers with that sunshine. It's a beautiful day to spend time outdoors. But these 50s are well below normal. We should be seeing highs in the lower 70s for this time of year. We do have one more night where our temperatures will be falling into the 30s. So you'll still need to bundle up tomorrow morning. But we're continuing our sunny and dry stretch right into the start of next week. And we're also looking at temperatures warming back up to the lower 80s as we head into your Monday. But hey, today after that Rangers win, you may have been up late. Maybe you were sitting outside handing out the candy to the trick or treaters. You're going to want that large cup of coffee. We're starting off with temperatures in the upper 30s. We do have that sunshine out there, but that coffee will help warm you up. And if you're thinking that this freeze is a little bit early, well, we didn't actually hit 32 degrees in DFW this morning. We hit 33 yesterday. We only dropped it to 34, but the earliest freeze that we have ever seen was October 22. 1898. Typically, we see our first freeze at DFW around November 22nd, but the latest we have had that freeze was January 4th. That was back in 1972. So we still haven't had our official first freeze at DFW, but a lot of areas in North Texas did drop to 32 degrees or cooler this morning or yesterday morning. We're still sitting in the mid to upper 30s throughout the region. 39 now in Hillsborough, 33 in Bridgeport and Greenville sitting at 37. So that pumpkin meter for today, we're still going to go with that cold blue pumpkin out there because we're only going to have those highs in the mid 50s and then we have another cold night on the way. But luckily things are going to be warming up, especially starting tomorrow afternoon. But you might be training for the marathon coming up in December. Be prepared for temperatures of 49 degrees around 1 o'clock and then we will have that high around 55 by 4 p.m. But looking ahead to the weekend, this is when that warm up really arrives. Saturday, 75 degrees. We're back closer to where we're supposed to be. And then we'll be 79 on Sunday. And it's because we are finally starting to see a change in our upper levels. We're going to get that ridge of high pressure building back in, winds out of the south. And that's going to allow those temperatures to really start to heat back up. But of course, we still have a more. Fronts in the forecast, so we're going to see those temperatures cooling off next week, but the rain that's going to stay well east of the area. And here's a look at those temperatures tumbling a bit more as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We're even looking at those 60s for Thursday and Friday.